Hi everybody, in this set of videos we're going to learn how to create our own customized Jiggle Deformer that is ready for production use. Now a Jiggle Deformer is useful for things like uh, creating secondary motion on maybe muscly characters or fat characters. Uh, it just creates that additional layer of believability to your characters. Now this character, if I click on him, you can see over here in his deformation history, he has a skin cluster and then a node called a CV Jiggle. And this is the deformer that we'll learn how to create. So if I zoom in on him, let me turn on wireframe so it's a bit easier to see. I'll just hit play. And you might be able to see this depending on the recording options, but as he brings his leg down, we can see that his thigh is jiggling, his butt is jiggling a bit, and his calves are jiggling. Uh, just in case it's hard to see this, let me open up a quick play blast here. So here's the play blast. I'll just hit play here. And you can see that his thigh is jiggling. And another shot over here. A quick glamour shot of his behind. And I'll just hit play. And you might be able to see his butt jiggling up there. Now before we go ahead and learn how to create this Jiggle Deformer, we're going to first prototype our Jiggle algorithm using Python. So using Python, we'll create a dependency graph node uh, that emulates the Jiggle that we want to create. So in this sample scene, I have a locator and a sphere. This sphere is just parented to another locator. So if I look at this other locator, I can see that it has some translation connections right here. And these translation channels are driven by this Jiggle Point node. So if I click on here, you can see that there are a few attributes on this node. There's the jiggle weight, a stiffness attribute, and a damping attribute. Now normally to demonstrate this, I, could, I would be able to go up to the solvers menu and hit interactive playback, and then just drag this locator around and you would see uh, the mesh jiggling. But since I'm doing a screen capture right now, you won't really be able to see that. So I made a quick play blast of this. So we can see here as this locator moves from right from left to right that the sphere is sort of jiggling around wherever that locator moves so we'll learn how to do that in order to quickly prototype our algorithm before converting that into the full-on C++ deformer so you just see uh, maybe a, a common workflow in developing new deformers and also when we look back at this original file we can click here click on the jiggle and you can see there's a bunch of attributes uh, scale, start frame, direction bias, normal strength and we'll learn what all these mean uh, when we implement the deformer and why we want these different attributes to create different effects. Uh, anyways, let's get started. 